Well, good morning. I was asked to uh, provide a mission moment for the Finance Committee. And I'll go back a little bit. When I was growing up in church, I'm a cradle Methodist. And when I was growing up in church, committees were always seen as that necessary evil. And seeing my dad on, on committees, seeing him on, uh, for the longtime Methodist, the Pony Express stewardship, remember that? That was, went to many houses with the little bag. But growing up, I always thought that there were fun committees and there were the other committees. And the fun committees were things like the worship committee, the music committee, uh, the mission committee. Yes, Maggie, the mission committee. And well, we didn't have a fellowship committee. <laughs> but those committees were ones that I said, you know, those are where the people are really able to do something. They're out there, they're singing, they're presenting worship. And then those other committees like SPRC and finance, they just kind of existed because they had to exist. I've changed. I've changed quite a bit. Um, it started when I was a college student in San Luis Obispo. I got a call out of the blue one day from a, a lady that wanted me to be on the SPRC committee. Here I was, a college student, knew nothing about business, hiring people, etc. That was one of the best, most exciting opportunities I had in college because it really got me tied into the fact that the church was a body. Everyone had something to do, different gifts, different ways, different things that needed to be done. You know, I, I read a book one time that was talking about how churches were bad business. And really, if you look at it, how could it be a good business model? You really have nothing to sell. You have a lot of expenses because you do lots of things. How, how could it be good business? But being on the finance committee, I really had my eyes open about how finance is just another ministry and how the things that we're able to do, the things that this church enables, is just beyond belief. If you look at just the dollars and cents, you miss what's happening out there with those dollars. Forward in Faith uh, was one of the first stewardship um, campaigns at this church that I really remember. And that's because of Frank Furchneider, one of our saints. He really taught me that you know, the money was nothing more than an enabler and that it was what we do and how we are able to impact this world that really made sense. We have other saints that have come before us, Jack Henninger, his whole idea about the solar. You know, he, he blew me away. He was talking about, he says, now, I, I know I'm not going to be around forever, but I really want to have an impact. He says, so I think I'm going to buy a solar system that will let it give on and on and on, and my impact will go on forever, and it will free up the church to be able to do lots of other things with that. Momentum for ministry was another thing that, that really changed my life. Uh, Keith Brummel and um, Rob asked me to be um, the stewardship leader for that. I was like, I don't do stewardship. I, I, don't, I don't stand out here and say, reach deep down in your pocket and pull out that $20 bill. You know, that's not me. But he says, how would, how would you like to be someone that can help people see that instead of putting money into just a building or a brick, we put money into programs. He says, that's what this really is all about. Time and time again, this church has really opened my eyes and changed the way I look at things. And I'm so, so proud and so happy to be a part of this community. And all of you have gifts, all of you have ideas and strengths, and all of you are a part of this amazing thing we call the church. So thank you for allowing me to be a part of this wonderful ministry and one that uh, we will be a part of for a long time.